हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास इन चैप्टर स्टेटिस्टिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन डेटा हैंडलिंग टुडे विल कंटिन्यू विद मीन ऑफ रॉ डेटा एंड मीडियन ऑफ रॉ डेटा नाउ यू ऑल आर वेल कन्वर्जेंट विद द टर्म एवरेज इफ वी से दैट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अर क्लास have scored an average of 72 marks out of 100 what does it implies does it implies that each student in the class has scored 72 marks no it doesn't imply that each student have scored 72 marks it means that someone may have got 100 marks some may have got 50 marks So seventy-two tells us the general performance of the class as a whole. So what is mean? Mean in statistics is same as average in arithmetic. Definition of mean is the average of a given set of observations or values is called arithmetic mean. or the mean of given data in short mean equals to sum of observations upon number of observations so here x bar denotes mean sum of observation is denoted by summation x and number of observations denotes by capital n Let's start with the examples. Here, find the mean of five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen. Here we will draw two columns. In first column, you will write x. X means observations, and in the second column, you will write n. N is for number of observations so here write down 5 7 11 13 now what is the formula to find mean that is x bar equals to summation x upon n so what is summation x that is sum of observations so these are the observations add all these observations when we will add you will get 53 so here value of summation x is 53 next thing we need that is number of observations now here count 1 2 3 4 5 so number of observations are 5 Here, put values in the formula. Summation x equals to fifty-three, and number of observations equals to five. Therefore, x bar equals to fifty-three upon five. What is the meaning of upon? That means here we have to divide. So when we will divide fifty-three and five. Here five ones are five. Now zero three will come down, so it will not go on three. Five zeros are zero. Minus remainder is three. But answer of mean we will not give like this. It will be in decimal. So here I'll put decimal. And write zero here. Five six a thirty. Here I will write thirty. Subtract zero. Now is it over? So at the end, answer is coming ten point six. Now let's see one more example. Here find the mean of first four multiples of three. now first four multiples multiples means 
table of 3. So here 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. So in first column we have written first 4 multiples of 3. If we are writing 4 multiples that means number of observations equals to 4. Next step is add all these numbers. When you will add, you will get the value of summation x. So here it will come. Summation x equals to 30. Apply formula. x bar equals to summation x upon n. Value of summation x is 30. Value of n is 4. Now divide 30 by 4. When we will divide... 30 by 4. So here we are dividing. Here 4 7s are 28. Minus 10 minus 8. 2. Here left out 2. So 0. No number is there. 2 is remainder. So here we will put point. Right here 0. 4. 5s are 20. So it is over. So at the end x bar equals to 7.5. Now let's see one more question. Here we have to find mean temperature in degree F. Monday 23.7. Tuesday 32.1. Wednesday 30.0. Now under observations column you will write 23.7. Second observation you will write in this way so that point will come under the point. So here we will write 32.1 and third one is 30.0. Now what are the number of observations? 1, 2, 3. So here number of observations equals to 3. What is the next step? Add these terms. When you will add it, 7 plus 1 will come 8. Here 3 plus 2 is 5. Point will come at the place of point. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. So summation x will come 85.8. Next step is apply formula. x bar equals to summation x upon n. Now here put the values. Summation x equals to 85.8. Number of observations equals to 3. Now divide. When you will divide you will get 28.6 As here temperature has been recorded in degree F. So in answer you will write degree F. Now let's start with the next topic. If I will tell you to find the middle term of first 5 natural numbers. First 5 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here middle number will come 3. As you can see two numbers are at the left and two are at the right. So 3 is the mid value of data. Now as we are finding middle term of 5 natural numbers. Therefore 5 is odd. As set of observation is odd only one middle term is coming. But if I will tell you to find middle term of first six natural numbers. First six natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if you will leave two numbers at the left. And 2 at the right. So 2 numbers are coming as middle terms. So what are you observing here? 
If I am finding middle term of odd number of observations, then I am getting only one answer. But if I am finding middle term of even set of observations, then two terms are coming. So I will find average of these two terms to get the middle term. So this middle term is known as median. So what is median? Median means middle term. There are some steps that you have to follow. Count the number of observations and we will denote it as capital N. Arrange given data in ascending order and then you will apply formula. If number of observations are odd, then you will apply median equals to n plus 1 upon 2th term. But if n is even, then you will apply formula median equals to 1 upon 2 n upon 2th plus n plus 2 upon 2th term. Now let's understand with examples. Here, find the median of given data. 25, 19, 17, 24, 31, 26, 32. Now step 1. Number of observations. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, value of n is 7 and 7 is odd. Step 2. Arrange in ascending order. So, here first of all 17, then 19, then 24, then 25, then 26, next number 31 and the last one is 32 as we have arranged given data from small number to big number. Therefore, we have arranged the data in ascending order. Now, value of n is odd. So, in the third step, you will apply formula of median for odd number of observations. Here, median will come n plus 1 upon 2th term. Put value of n. Here it comes 7 plus 1 upon 2th term. 7 plus 1, 8. So, 8 upon 2. Do cutting. Here it will come 4th term. So, which term is 4th over here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here fourth term is equals to 25. Therefore, median equals to 25. Let's see one more example. Here find median 25, 23, 31, 32, 19, 17. Now step 1, count the number of observations. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So value of n is 6. That is even number. Now step 2, arrange data in ascending order. That means you will arrange small number to big number. Here it will come 17 then 19, then 23, then 25, then 31, then 32. Next step, apply formula of median for even number of observations. Here, it will come median equals to half bracket n upon 2th plus n plus 2 upon 2th term. So, put value 1 upon 2, value of n is 6. 6 upon 2 
plus 6 plus 2 upon 2th term. Now, half bracket star 6 upon 2th plus 6 plus 2 is 8. So, here 8 upon 2th term. Now, here we will do cutting. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. Here 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8. So, what are you observing here? Two consecutive terms are coming. If first term is coming, third, then next one is coming, fourth. So, here we will write half third plus fourth term. Now, we have arranged this data in ascending order. From there, see the value of third and fourth term. Here 1, 2, 3, 4. So 23 is the third term and 25 is the fourth term. Put these values here. You will get 1 upon 2 bracket 23 plus 25. When you will add these two numbers, you will get 48. So here 1 upon 2, here no sign means multiply. After adding 23 and 25, you will get 48. Do cutting on the table of 2. Here 2 ones are 2. 2 24s are 48. So here median will come 24. So students, today we have learned how to find mean and median of raw data. So with the help of this video, I hope you all will be able to solve the related sums given in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.